I just looked up the um, original definition of impotence and what jumped out at me was impotence is the lack of control or power. So if you are experiencing a a downswing in your business, if you are experiencing a, um, a lack, let's just say a lack energy, both of people choosing to work with you, people choosing to hire you, people choosing to purchase from you, um, or even like last, uh, last week, I was talking a lot about your ideas and learning to dance with your ideas. So if you are feeling a lack of ideas or you're feeling a lack of creativity underneath that with the impotence is how much do you feel out of control or that you have no power in your life and in your business? Because the two, you cannot separate. You, your life right. is part, your business is part of your life and your life is part of your business. So I think that this lack, this belief system that you have a lack of control and power needs to be addressed. And Absolutely. In, right? And addressing it is... It's a lie that you have no control or power, it, right? W- yeah. Would you agree? Absolutely. So when you look at the control, right, the control or power, when we look at it from the body perspective, even from like, how would a body react in order to have an erection, right? There are certain things that are going on. We're having responses environmentally. We're having internal responses. We're having mental responses. We're having, um, then we're having a uh, biological chemical things going on so you're going to have chemical responses where you're going to have uh, hormones that are going to help to increase that so if we look at that from a business perspective like what would be the hormones of the business those are the fundamental things that keep our our body running so the fundamental things to me in business are um you know, there are different things like communication, like your communication lines, like how do you communicate with your, uh, the people that you're working with that you're contributing to? What are your communication lines? Are they clear? Are, are the way, is the way that you're presenting your information clear enough for people to understand what they're trying to buy? So that information that's coming through, which is all the hormones, they're sending signals and information to your body. Like what signals are you putting out with your business too? How do people see you? What's the information that you're giving to them? So we want those to be clear. And then we want to make sure that the tissues, like the foundation of that is clear to the muscle. And like the muscle of the business would be the things that would help your business also uh, move forward and have some traction. So if you look at that from like a business perspective, what like to me, what the muscles would be, would be having certain things like whether it's having teams in place or processes in place that assist you with moving forward easier. Right. I think one of the fundamental pieces I would add to this is, and I don't know whether it's um, the, the muscles or the communication but one of the fundamental pieces is your, the way that you think, the way yeah. your belief systems, what now a value is something that is not changeable within you. You, it, you just cannot change the value. What is important to you is part of your makeup, but your beliefs is what you have said yes to what you've believed exactly. in. 